there's a certain amount of uh, human ingenuity um, that just can't be replaced because we're solving problems for other humans and nothing will ever know humans as well as uh, we will. In the places we live, work, eat, sleep, and travel, automation is influencing the way we live our lives. Over a dozen restaurants featuring an automated kitchen or waitstaff have opened in the San Francisco Bay Area alone. Across Europe, Fast food companies have begun replacing cashiers with touchscreen menus. And in Japan, a Buddhist robot named Pepper presides over funerals for a fraction of the cost of a human priest. But don't go automating everything without a plan in place. Hastily implemented automation causes more problems than it solves. Let's explore a few scenarios where automation can really help or really hurt. Until next week, maybe. With a high volume of requests and limited resources, customer service is an area where companies can save meaningful time and resources with automation. Research has even shown that customers are perfectly happy engaging through automated channels like Google to obtain information. But when we're really stuck on a problem, there's something frustrating about knowing there's not an actual human on the other end of the line, feeling our pain. Specifically in the world of customer support, you often hear about people saying, I don't want to speak to a bot. This is a really interesting dynamic because oftentimes, as uh, robotic as it actually sounds, getting a bot can, can get you to the right answer in the fastest and most effective way. Automation can often feel very, it can feel very forced. And I think where automation goes wrong is when companies will try to convince you that you're talking to a human when you're very clearly not. I think automation thrives when you can be very straightforward about it. So, for example, you reach out to support saying, hey, you know, where can I find the most recent new features? We can send an automatic response saying, hey, I'm a robot, right? Based on what you just sent in, I think this is what you're looking for. Send you a link to the help center. But please wait until you know a colleague of mine will get back to you. These recent innovations have started to cross into professions once thought impossible to automate. Automation is already being used by some teams to build websites, create ads, and automatically generate other creative assets. While the concept may give some creatives cause for distress, automation is actually an opportunity for creatives, not a threat. Some of the work that automation and artificial intelligence is taking over is kind of that routine uh, low value work that's still necessary, um, but it's not, it's not where humans can have the most impact. And so I think creatives should learn to embrace it, uh, see it as another tool at their disposal. I think creatives are used to working with a variety of tools and I think automation is, is one of those tools that can really uh, magnify their efforts and it frees them up to kind of tackle those more exciting and ultimately more rewarding problems. Automation isn't a solution in itself, it's a magnifier. And if the underlying problem hasn't been effectively solved, automation will only make things worse. I think people trust um, automation up until it fails and then their trust is, is betrayed and then it takes a long time to recover from that. Uh, we had a recent failure where millions of Americans were not able to access their health insurance information. The whole system broke down and then that's where you start to build up the, the distrust uh, of these systems. So, you know, as time goes on and the technology improves and we can get more consistent, I think that uh, people will welcome automation into more parts of their lives. Automation has the power to help us do more than we ever thought possible, but it's not a cure-all. Like any other tool, companies still need to put a lot of time, effort, and thought into how it should be used. 